Hello friends. Today we are going to start our day eight, September 1st, math onboarding for fourth grade. I hope everyone has been having a great morning so far. Let's get on with our agenda so that we can see what is up for today. So today we are going to be accessing the platform resources. You're going to find these on Summit Learning. You are also going to practice some note taking. Um, three different types, not three different types, but for three different assignments. Note taking for three different assignments. So today we're going to start off by asking, have you been setting goals on your summit learning? Why not? Why, why do we take notes? A video on note taking? The personal math glossary entry and check off for resources used? Then we'll do our online practice note taking, then check off resources used. And we're gonna end it off with a check for understanding note taking, and then we'll check off the resources used for that one. And those are the three assignments that we're gonna have. So let's start talking about our goals. I'm gonna ask that if you, your teacher wants you to set a goal right now, uh, press pause so that she can tell you what goal to, to um, enter. So at this point, if your teacher wants you to set a goal, you can press the pause button. Remember that we use the acronym SMART. We want to be specific with our goal. It has to be measurable. We have to be able to attain it. it has to be relevant to us and in a timely manner. So. If your teacher didn't say to stop here to set a goal, maybe you already did it, so then you can move on. For those of us moving on, let's talk, let's talk about note-taking. Why note-taking? What, what sh should um, useful notes have in them? Well, notes are useful for recording key information. Taking notes helps you remember what you heard. Taking notes helps you concentrate and listen effectively, especially if you're going to be watching some videos. It will help in selecting what to record and it increases your understanding of it. Notes create a resource for when you're taking your test at the end of the unit as well. So note taking is going to be a, a uh, one of the tasks that we use, one of the strategies that we use to help us remember what it is we were learning. Now, there are three different types of notes that we can take, and I'm going to focus on the one that is uh, uh, separated into two columns because I like to write down my main idea, and then I like to um, make a little representation of what they were talking about. I like to write some numbers down maybe a picture or a table. So we're going to use this one right here, the two column note taker, so that we can all be on the same page. And if you'd like to use one of the other ones, feel free to use those. They're very helpful as well. So we're going to start by taking a look at a video for our unit, since it's unit one and it's our um, 4.2B um, uh, whole numbers. So what we're going to do, and you don't have to do this right now, I just want you to watch. And I want you to stop and you know pause the video if you have to do some of the work. You're going to need to take out your uh, PFA number one from your uh, Teague folder, the one we gave you when we gave you the, the Chromebook computer. And it's going to have all the papers that you need inside. So if you need to find the one that's titled PFA, Number one, go ahead and pause it right now and take a look at it. Otherwise, we're going to continue. So if I am looking at my Summit Learning tab, I'm going to see that if I'm going to the first um, focus area, I can go to resources and my resources for 4.2B, which is represent whole numbers is right here, objective one. And I'm going to be taking notes with a video, notes with a practice, and notes for checking for understanding. So let's get started. Now, for our notes, you are going to also need your note, your math journal, your math spiral notebook. Have that ready with a 
a, a, a pencil, if you're in Ms. Garcia's class, a skinny marker so that I can see it after you write it, but you are going to need your math journal right now. So if you have to pause this video, pause it right now and then press play once you have your materials. So let's take a look at what we have. We're going to be looking at a video and we're going to start with place value and I will periodically stop it just to write down my information in my notes. So whatever I write, I want you to write it as well. Here's your first video. in 4,356. Now, whenever I think about place value, and the more you do practice problems on this, it'll become a, a little bit of second nature. But whenever I see a problem like this, I like to expand out what 4,356 really is. So let me rewrite the number. So if I were to write, and I'll write it in different colors. So 4,356 is equal to, and just think about how I just said it, it is equal to 4,000, 4,000, plus 300, plus 300, plus 50, plus 50, plus 6. And you can come up with that just based on how we said it, 4,356. Now another way to think about this, so I want to stop right here and I want to go to my note taker so that I can write that down. So right here, what I'd also like for you to do is I want you to pick up your pencil or your skinny marker, and this is where you're going to write. Let me make this a little bit smaller. I want you to be able to see it. We're doing the expanded notation. No, expanded form. Apologize. Expanded form. He talked about the value of the digits. Whoopsie. He talked about writing the number and what it means. So my understanding of this is that the number was 4,000. OK, come on. OK, there we go. Making another one right here. It was 4,365, no, 356. And he said that this was actually 4,000 plus 300. Let me know if I do something wrong, boys and girls. Please help me. We need to help each other. 50 plus 6. And that would equal that number I had up there. 4,356 with my comma right there. All right, I'm going back to the video now so that I can continue watching it. Let's listen to this uh, man. This is, this is just like saying this is four thousands, four thousands, four thousands, plus, or you could even think of and, so plus three hundreds, three hundreds, plus 50, you could think of it as five tens, five tens, plus six. And instead of six, we could say plus six ones, plus six ones. And so if we go back to the original number, 4,356, this is the same thing as four, I'll write it down, four, let me see how well I can. I'll write it up right this. This is the same thing as four thousands, four thousands, three hundreds, three hundreds, five tens, five tens, and then six ones. So when they ask what is the place value of three in 4,356, we're concerned with this three right here. And it's place value. It's in the hundreds place. If there was a four here, that would mean we're dealing with 400. If there's a five, five hundreds. It's the third from the right. This is the ones place. That's six ones, five tens, three hundreds. So the answer here is it is in the hundreds place. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go back to my note taker because I just found out 
um, more information here. So what I'd like for you to do is I want you to join me. I want you to take your pencil, take your math spiral, and you had drawn a line down the middle and I want you to write this down, place value chart. And for the place value chart, I'm going to do what he said. It was the number 4,356. So I will now make sure that I label that correctly. He says that these were the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So I'm going to try as hard as I can to make my line straight, which is kind of hard to do with a mouse. But that's my place value chart. And that was that is what I was listening to in the video. That's, that was the helpful information that he gave me. So that is the first part of my notes that I'm going to write down. And I'd like for you to write that down as well. Um, that was my video note taking. Now, right now, what you are going to do is you can either practice from another video. Where is it? Oh, uh, clear. Can we clear all of this? Let me stop it for a minute. All right, so I took care of uh, the annotations and wiped them out. So what you can do now is you can uh, do another video and practice your note taking if your teacher wants you to do that, or you can just go on to the next part that I'm going to talk about. So you can either uh, uh, click on a video and practice your note taking a different video, or you can just go on with me and do the next part. Now, for the next part, we're going to look at our vocabulary. Now, this is called our glossary entry. This is from our personal math glossary. Now, you don't have a copy of this in your Teague folder, but you can always problem solve by just writing it in your math journal. And that's what you can do. Unless your teacher told you that there was one in the Google Classroom, but you know what? You can always copy it onto the Google Classroom. So I'd like for you to draw this little box right here, turn to the next page, and you're going to um, write down a word. We're gonna write down a word from the video that we just watched. And how about we do um, expanded, the word expanded. What does the word expanded mean from expanded form? Hmm, well, this was one of my math words. Oops, I can just use a, a little check mark here. It's a, this was from my math vocabulary. What is a synonym, another word that means the same thing as expanded? Well, when you expand, you stretch. You stretch out. Oh, there we go, my fingers. You stretch out. And a picture or an example that I can put here is the one from my notes. I need a text box right here. And um, the one he gave me was uh, the 4,000 plus the 300 plus 50 plus a six. And that was supposed to equal my number, 4,356. And that is what I'm going to use for my vocabulary. This is part of my glossary entry. So if you're putting this in your notes, on one side, write the words glossary entry, math vocabulary note taking. And then on the right side, you can write all of this. So you can press pause right now so that you can check it out and copy it. Take this down for your notes. And if you wanna write another word down, like the word uh, value or digit, you can also do that on your own. All right, so for those of us moving on, we're going to go ahead and go to the next part. And the next part is going to be a note taker as well, but this note taker is going to be our practice 
our online practice note taker. So let's take a look at that right now to see what it is we're going to do. I want us to click on value of a digit and see what we have here. Now you don't have to open anything or go to Summit Learning yet. You can do that later. Right now, I just want you to watch. I want you to be paying attention. I want you to be looking forward, uh, looking at the screen and not being distracted. So let's see what we have here. This looks interesting. It says, uh, identify a value of a digit, okay. The digit nine and which number represents a value of 90? Choose one answer. So right now is when you would press the pause button and you would answer this, okay? Digit nine in which number represents a value of 90? Okay, let's see if you got it right. Which one did you pick? Uh, did you pick A, nine, B, 9,000, or C, 90? And the correct answer is letter C. Okay, let's check it. And we got it right. Let's go to the next question. When you're taking notes for your online practice, you always want to press the pause button before you go on to see what the answer is, to see if you answered it correctly. What is the place value in the eight in 81,374? Press pause, write down your answer. Okay. The number eight, did, which answer did you pick? Did you pick A, B, C, or D? And yes, let's see if it's in the 10,000s place. Let's check it. Great work. So see, this is how you do the online practice. It involves some pausing and playing, pausing and playing, always checking to see if you got it right. So here, the eight is worth 80,000, it's in the 10,000s place. What value does the three represent in this number? Now, if you're stuck, what could you do? It says watch a video or use a hint. But if you know what the value of the three is, press pause, write it in your math journal. This is number three, and then when you're ready, press play. Okay, so our value for the three, it's in the ones place. Let's see if it's three. Great work, okay, let's go on to the next one. The digit eight, in which number represents a value of 800,000? Is it in A, in B, or in C? Remember, if you get stuck, you, gotta, you, you have the option of clicking this uh, video or hint to help you out. So press pause and write your answer down for number four. All right, now that you're back, we're going to see, did you click this one to see if it's 800,000? Let's check it. Nice work, let's go on to the next one. What is the place value in the one in this number? Press pause and answer the question. Once you're ready, click play. Is the one in the millions or the 10 millions? Let's try the millions and check it. Nice work. Let's go on to the next one, number six. What does the eight represent in this number? You can always watch a video or a hint here if you were doing it on your own, but right now we're just doing it together. So the eight, I see that it's right there, and then it had two zero. I'm gonna add two placeholders and a comma, and then three placeholders. Let's see how we do on this one. Great work. Now let's go to the next one, which is the last one. The digit four in which number has a value of 400? Press pause to answer it, number seven, and then click play. All right, let's see if it's this one right here. Let's check for understanding. Good work. Let's see your summary right here. All right, keep going and growing. You have lots of energy points right now. And that is how we would take notes when there is online practice. You stop, you answer it, you go to the next question. Read it, you stop, you answer it, you go to the next one. That's, exact, that's exactly how we we're going to do it. And I would be writing all of my information on this paper right here. I'd be putting my number one, number two. So here, I would call this one online practice. And then I would move over to this side. 
and I would write my answers for number one. Let's say it was B. And then my answers for number two, maybe that one was A, and so on like that. That's how I would do my uh, a note taking for online practice. All right, so let's see what we have now. You can do another one on your own here, or we can move on to the next slide. And before we move on to the next slide, I want you to check off what it is that we've been doing. So let's go to our SDL guide, the one that you have a, a hard copy of, and let's check off what we did. Because we did a video on finding place value. We also did a practice video on value of a digit. So we want to check those off. You want to make sure that you're keeping track of what you're doing. And the next one that we're going to do is going to be a check for understanding. It's going to be check for understanding value of a digit. So let me go and prepare that for you so that you can get started. Well, okay, so uh, uh, pardon me, on the check for understanding, you are going to select the objective where you need the most help, whichever one you scored red on. If you need more help for uh, your expanded notation, then you would click here and you know check here, put a check mark here and then look for it in your summit learning. If you need help with the value of a digit, you would check here. And if you need help in the standard to written form, then you would check here. But just to show you, I'm going to check off value of a digit and put a little check mark there. And that is going to be what I'm going to write in my um, SDL guide. So let me show you what that would look like. You don't have to click anything right now. Again, you're just watching, absorbing the information, and even taking notes on this, even though we weren't even going to be taking notes on this part. But uh, you can always take notes on any part that you want. Let me click here. And here it goes. I'm going to open it up. So this is what it looks like. This is the one that I need help on, on value of a digit. And it's got a little, a little note here, a little carrot, and it says, look at this number. What place is the selected digit in? Now remember, you have copies of the check for understandings in the PSA1 that was in your uh, Teague folder. So you're going to take out the one that you need most help on. So for this one, I'm going to take out my, uh, use my uh, text little box here, and it says, what place? is the selected digit in. And here I know if I do my, my periods place value, I have my ones period, thousands period, millions period, and it's ones, tens, hundreds. So it's in the hundred millions. This one right here, okay. And now it says, now the second part, what is the value of that digit? So I know that there's a six and I'm gonna put two placeholders my comma, this is a placeholder for my thousands, and this is a placeholder for my ones uh, period, and that would be 600,000. So then I would do the rest, and then I would check my answers um, whenever I would scroll down. So that's exactly how I'm gonna do this part, and that's how you would be doing it too. So you would do this, and if you had a red area in any other one of these objectives for unit one, you would go and you would also do those. That is how we take notes. That is part of the, those are part of the resources that we find in um, our summit learning. And we wanna make sure that we are using our student-directed learning uh, study uh, our little guide whenever we are doing this part before we take our content assessment and filling it out. I wish everyone the best as they are working through their math today and the rest of the week. Good luck. Make sure that you take those notes. Just draw a line down the middle, separate it in half, write your main idea on one side, make some notes, write some numbers, make a little picture on the other side and you should be fine. Well, have a great day, Tigers. See you next time.